The damage system in Monster Hunter Rise is quite complex as it has many different variables that players can take advantage of to maximize the damage output of their preferred weapon. I will be going over these damage variables starting with impact versus slashing damage. While it doesn't say on the weapon card whether a weapon deals slicing or impact damage, all weapons in the game will do one or the other type of damage. The two damage types do have very distinct sounds. Slicing will sound like a sword through the air and impact will sound like a very heavy object crashing into something else. And there's a little visual shockwave upon impact. Slashing damage is more useful for when you want to cut something off a monster, like their tail. It also deals more damage to monsters who don't have tough skin or armor. Impact damage is useful for when you want to break something off a monster, like their horns or armor if they have any. Impact damage is also useful when you would want to stun the monster. Impact damage does not slice, and so it would be very difficult to nearly impossible to cut off a monster's tail using only impact damage. The opposite is true too. Slicing damage has very little impact, and so it will take a very long time to stun a monster, and even longer still to break something off the monster. Affinity is its own system in Monster Hunter Rise. You could think of it as a percent chance of doing critical damage, where critical damage will normally do anywhere between 30% more damage than a regular strike to double the strike's normal damage. Um, this is relayed to the player as a orange goldish number um, and it's usually bigger and more bolder than the regular white normal damage numbers. Next we will talk about elemental damage. Some weapons will do small amounts of elemental damage in addition to the slicing or impact damage they already do. This can be useful when fighting a monster with an elemental weakness. However, monsters can also be resistant to some elements, so it comes down to the player to choose which element, if any, they want to bring to the fight. The different elements to choose from are fire, water, ice, poison, thunder, blast, sleep, and paralysis. Visually, all these elements have different particles that appear when striking a monster. Fire will have little flames appear at the strike. Thunder will have little bolts of lightning, for example. And ice will have a spray of icy mist on impact. <laughs> 